Well, hello, everybody, and welcome. It is so great to have you here. I am Wendy Rose Williams, and I'm a past life energy healer, and I help people release energy that does not serve them anymore. Things like chronic pain, uh, anxiety, depression, feeling stuck, and like you just cannot move forward. It is also one of my favorite things to do to help people connect uh, with your guides. So, so glad you could join me today. Thank you for uh, taking the time. And I've got everybody muted just because um, we're going to start with an energy healing and blessing, and then we'll do a guided meditation uh, to meet our guides. And then we will uh, go through some tips and techniques and you're so welcome to give feedback. So I'll invite you to unmute at that time, but let me just get everybody muted here for future people who joins. We've got a good clear recording too. Okay, wonderful. And also I put for you in the chat uh, section some links. So you may uh, hopefully can see those. Sometimes it's a little bit funky. And if you uh, join after I put them in, they don't show. So we'll figure that out uh, later on if we need to. But you're welcome to uh, copy paste those if you are seeing my links in the chat area down in the uh, cover your um, cursor over the, the middle of the screen in the bottom. So let's get started. And as I said, we're gonna do an energy clearing and blessing to start with from the angels. And then we'll do the guided meditation to meet um, your guides. And the guides are going to have a gift for you and a message for you. And you'll get a sense of what your guides um, energy is like. And everyone processes uh, information differently. Some people will more be able to see, some can more heal, hear, feel, sense, know, uh, perceive, so it's just a little bit different for everybody. So just be kind with yourself, uh, however the information comes through for you, and I will uh, help you with it. So you're welcome to just uh, get nice and comfortable. If you want to turn your camera off, you can certainly uh, do that and just relax in your seat, uh, whatever you want to. Close your eyes, whatever will help you relax, and we will call in the angels, and then we will call in the guides. So let's get started. Thank you, angels, for sweeping your nets up to the core of Mother Earth and through everyone's bodies and systems. Please take energy with you that is no longer in service uh, to us. Please sweep your nets through our physical, mental, spiritual, and emotional bodies, through our financial bodies, through our creative bodies, relationship bodies, romantic bodies, subtle bodies, and auras taking with you any energy that does not serve us, taking it up to the light for healing now. would be so, so grateful for that energy that's not ours, taking it up to the light for healing now. Energy we've outgrown, energy no longer serving us, energy that's ours in combination with someone else's. Please take it up to the light for healing now. Bringing down in its place, beautiful alignment with our purpose, helping us be on our life path, even though it may not always be clear to us. Thank you for helping guide us to our purpose and keeping us on our path. We so, so appreciate that. Thank you for the wonderful alignment with our higher selves, our own brilliant souls, with the distilled wisdom across all lifetimes. Thank you for helping us connect with our guides. We'd be so, so grateful for that. To feel this alignment, that marvelous, um, wonderful, uh, unconditional love and um, assistance for us. We so, so appreciate that. And just give me one second here while I mute everybody again, because we've got some crackling going on. There we go. Okay, very good. So just keep settling on in and the angels are gonna do that clearing twice more and welcome if you're just joining us. Thank you angels for sweeping your nets through everyone's home and properties, balancing the energies in our homes, having them be happy places for us, places with lots of joy and laughter and relaxation, where we just get to be ourselves. Our homes are meant to be our castles. And thank you for helping them be a happy, peaceful, 
uh, places for all of us, balancing up the energy in the homes and on our properties to serve not only those of us live on the call together right now or listening to the recording later, but balancing up the home and property energy for everyone living in the home, be they two-legged, four-legged, uh, finned, feathered, uh, scaled, or anything else uh, in between. And as we turn our attention to the outside of our home and think about our yards, our land, our property, uh, where our homes are located, let's just take a moment to bless Mother Earth and thank her for all that she does for us. We get the privilege of living here at this pivotal time. It's not always easy. It's not easy for the earth. It's not always easy for us. So let's lift one another one another up together and let's bless mother earth like she blesses us thank her for the beauty of nature for the mountains for the lakes the oceans the clear blue skies the wonderful wonderful trees uh, the wild animals everything that is there for us so thank you thank you to uh, mother earth one more time, let us uh, ask the angels to sweep their nets through all of our emotions. Yes, we come into human form to experience emotions because they teach us so much about ourselves. And we're here to learn more about who we are as souls. Who are we? Who are we as souls? What are our lives about? And just to be able to experience emotions. Yes, we need to uh, feel them, uh, to uh, heal them if they are challenging the emotions. But first, let's give thanks for the wonderful emotions that we get to experience. Those feelings of happiness, of joy, of peace, those feelings of love, of gratitude, of self-confidence, of anticipation, of uh, happy excitement. Thank you, thank you for those emotions. And please now, angels, sweep your nets through the emotions that no longer serve us, whether it be fear, anxiety, feeling discombobulated, feeling not clear, not supported, feeling any discomfort or pain, feeling any uh, feelings that just do not serve us anymore, uh, feeling sad, feeling depressed. These are all very real, understandable human emotions, but we can learn how to balance them up very efficiently uh, with the help of our higher selves and our guides and the angels. I'm talking 15 to 20 seconds to be able to learn how to balance up those emotions. And I love helping people be able to do that, uh, being a high expressive and high emoter uh, myself. That's been a wonderful, uh, amazing, at times challenging journey to learn how to do that. So balancing up those emotions that do not serve us by the angels assisting us and sending them down our grounding cords. You can just imagine, you can visualize, you can feel, you can sense, you can know. You're sending a grounding cord down between your legs, down deep, deep, deep to that magnetic core of Mother Earth. And there you can just take a sigh of relief. You're really here now. You're really grounded. You're in the present moment. You have everything you need. You're able to pull up the fountain of youth energy and anything else you need from that magnetic core of Mother Earth. So once again, thank you to Mother Earth and thank you to the divine. Now that we're wonderfully grounded, we can fully, fully connect up with the divine and feel into and experience those heaven on earth energies of peace and love and joy. We can feel those, we can experience those, and we are creating those and co-creating those to share with those around us. Just a moment of silence while you let go of anything else you don't need. Go ahead and send it down your grounding cord right now. 
You will get assistance for that. Angels will help you with that and ask for, pull up anything else you need. So just a moment of silence as we do that together. Wonderful. Thank you, angels. It is done. So be it. So let's just stay in this wonderful, relaxed, uh, safe, meditative state. And we're going to meet your guide now. So I'd like you to see yourself on a beautiful sunny day, just the right temperature to take an easy walk across a beautiful meadow. Every breath you take in this lovely, gorgeous place is relaxing. Every breath in is relaxing. Every breath out doubles the relaxation. Every step you take forward allows you to feel more and more aligned with your own higher self, with earth, with the divine, with your guides. Every step forward is also an opportunity to leave behind you what no longer serves you, what you no longer need. You're able to let go of it. You're able to let go of blocks. You're able to let go of stuck energy. It may have been vexing you for years or decades or lifetimes. You're able to now easily leave it in the rear view mirror. Just letting it go. Every breath in is relaxing. Every breath out doubles the relaxation as you continue to easily saunter across this beautiful, beautiful meadow. You're now noticing right in front of you a lovely hill. And there's a path leading up the hill. It's very intriguing to you. You're welcome to start walking up that path. It's easy for you to walk up the path, enjoying the sun on your body, just relaxing you, making you feel happy, admiring the blue, blue skies, the white puffy clouds, just the perfect temperature for this easy walk. Sometimes the path goes to the left. Sometimes the path goes to the right. But you're able to easily follow it, comfortable and confident. You're following your path in life. You may notice some beautiful trees on either side of the path, some flowers, some shrubs, some herbs on either side of the path. You're welcome to reach out and touch any of them that are particularly appealing to you. Perhaps you'll touch the petal, uh, smooth feel of a rose, for example, and just smell that vibrant scent. You've now reached the top of the hill. As you look around you, you see you're in a grove of trees, a grouping of trees. As you take one more step forward, you're in a clearing, a beautiful natural clearing in the woods. Directly in front of you is another grove of trees. You sense, you feel, you know, you see. You can hear your guide is right there. So happy to reunite with you. Your guide knows you so well. You chose your guide and your guide chose you to assist you in this lifetime. And they're now stepping into the clearing to join you. Some of the guides have a real sense of humor and they can be very funny, extremely humorous with how they choose to show up um, initially. So whatever you're feeling, sensing, seeing, hearing, knowing about your guide, just trust it. 
Just let your guide join you and just tune into what does your guide look like? What's your impression of them? Does your guide's energy feel more masculine, feminine, or perhaps beautifully balanced? Maybe you don't get a sense of more uh, male or female. It can be very balanced. Your guide might not be presenting in human form. They can take on many different forms. It's whatever's just right for you. So just tune into what your guide looks like, what their energy feels like. They're here for you now. And let's ask your guide their name. What name are you going to call them? We've all had hundreds, if not thousands of names, as has your guide. So please don't worry. It's just a naming convention. It's just a name you're going to agree on. And what would your guide, uh, what name are you going to use for your guide to be able to connect with them on your own after today? Starting today, you're now connected with your guide. What's their name? All right, everyone's doing great. Getting more and more of a sense of your guide. And your guide has a gift for you. And they're going to hand you a box, a gift box, if they haven't already. And you're able to easily take the lid off the box and discover what your gift is. You can not only see it, you can feel, sense, know, hear, perceive. What is the gift? So just take a moment and explore what that gift is. And you're welcome to hold it in your hands if that feels right for you. However, you'd like to examine your gift and just get a sense of it. And what does your gift mean to you? What does it symbolize? How does it make you feel? What does this wonderful gift do for you in your life now? How does this help you? And if you're not clear uh, what the gift is meant to represent or what it does for you, just ask your guide. Just start talking with them. And if you find it hard to hear your guide, they can write on a notebook and they can show you what they want to say or on a, on a chalkboard. You can just feel it in your body. You can sense, you can know uh, what your guide would like you to know about your gift. So we'll just take one more moment to learn about your gift, and then your guide is going to share a message with you. Your guide is now sharing a message with you. What would they like you to know? Once again, you can not only see, feel, hear, sense, know. You have beautiful communication with your guide. What do they want you to know? 
What's their message for you? And let's just relax into our bodies, relax into our hearts. You can hear, you can feel, sense, know, see what your guide's message is. Let's just take a big breath in through the nose. Hold that for a moment and feel your vibration and frequency gently rise. You're wonderfully connected with your guide, receiving a message from them. When you're ready, breathe out through your mouth anything you do not need. Now you can hear that message from your guide. Sense it, feel it, know it. Just trust yourself. You can't get it wrong. You're just going to feel it. You're going to know. You're just going to get that information. So you're now wonderfully connected with your guide. So you're welcome to thank them for the gift and more importantly, for uh, their beautiful uh, service to you because you now have uh, someone that really is there for you unconditional love, wisdom, support, and you're so welcome to connect with them at any time. You do need to request to connect with your guide because we live on a free will planet and neither your guide nor your angel, no one can just come in and rush in and fix things for you, change things, upgrade things for you. You do need to uh, ask for the assistance. And also, of course, we're, we're making our own effort. So just know you're wonderfully, wonderfully connected. And your guide is now going to turn and go back into the grove of trees on their side. And we're going to turn and go into the grove of trees on our side and you can calm back down the hill more quickly than we went up, knowing you're now connected with your guide. So you're welcome to come back gently, gently to your body. I'm gonna to count to five. You'll be fully, fully back in your body, feeling refreshed, renewed, energized, just feeling wonderful. One, two, coming gently, gently, fully, fully back into your body. You're welcome to open your eyes when you're ready. Three, four, fully, fully back to the present day and time, back to March 20th, 2024. Five, fully, fully back in your body. You can wiggle your fingers and toes and just get comfortable back in your body. So let us invite you to um, unmute. Let's see what, yeah, we have uh, 16 of us. So absolutely. So we can uh, unmute. So I'll invite you to do that. And we can walk through some uh, tips and techniques if you would like some ideas of how to continue connecting with your guides. Or if you have a specific question specific to guides. Today, we're talking just about guides and how to connect with them. But if you have a question about that, uh, please let me know. Um, and if not, I'll just go through some tips and techniques how to connect. So does anyone want to share um, what it was like to connect with your guide or maybe maybe share um, what what you learned, what the gift was or the message? Does anybody want to want to share that? Elizabeth, or excuse me, Claudia, yes. Hi, how are you? I'm great. How about you? Thank you for joining me. You're very welcome. Um, my gift was a blanket. Was a blanket. Okay. It was a soft pink okay. blanket. And I felt the message was to love, for, for me to love me 
but also to take care of myself and um, feel feel covered. Wonderful. Oh, that just that's that's fantastic. So that beautiful uh, soft pink blanket, uh, how perfect. And like you said, to just uh, be able to, uh, you know, cover up and, and take care of yourself and love yourself. That's wonderful. Anybody else uh, want to comment, question, or want to share? And I can't see everybody on the screen all at once. So please forgive me if I'm not seeing you raise your hand. Uh, go ahead and uh, comment. Um, Ask a question if you have one. Um, a Melvin here. Hi. Um, hi. Hi. Is this Elizabeth? No, no, this is uh, Agatha. Oh, hi, Agatha. Wonderful to see you. Hi. Um, I'm sorry, it was a little late, but I kind of dropped into it quickly and I got kind of a, a, a box, a blue box, and okay. a teardrop in the form of a pearl. Wonderful. So did, did you say the box was in the shape of a pearl or? No, no. In the box inside. was a teardrop pearl. Oh, inside was a teardrop pearl. Oh, wonderful. And how did you feel about that? What did that symbolize for you? Um, I think what it, what it was telling me was there's no need for sadness and, and to let go of the poverty consciousness. That's done and to embrace what's coming, even though I don't know what that is. <laughs> marvelous, marvelous. Oh, that feels wonderful. How do you feel about that? Do you feel more freed up? Um, yeah, I had a frustrating time before I got on, which is why I was delayed, but I won't go into that. No worries. Um, yeah, um, interesting stuff going on with the internet connections yes yes lots of frustration there anyway thank you very much i want to take oh, up my pleasure this so so glad you're here um, and we're able to join us and i am recording today so if anyone wants to go back to the recording and listen to it i will put it on youtube it'll be on my youtube channel which is wendy rose williams so let me just paste in the links again because uh, multiple people have told me if you join after I paste a link, you then don't see the link. So let me just quick paste again so you have them. Is this in the, in the chat? It's going to be in the chat. Yes, exactly. Okay. It hasn't come up yet. Yes. Give me a second. Um, copy paste. Take your time. Take it's, your time. It's, uh... Yeah, YouTube has been funky with, with links for some reason. I don't know if anybody else has experienced the same thing. There's lots of systems uh, getting ready to uh, re reset, which is a whole different um, conversation. So yes. Okay, I've got one here. Let me get the other one. There we go. Copy. Okay, so there we are. And let me just read if there's anything else in chat here. Okay, perfect. So yeah, Tracy was saying, yeah, just join and don't see the link. So you should be able to see them now. So let's go through okay. some ways that you can connect with your guides. There are so many wonderful ways because everybody's um, unique. It's just, you know, the, the right way for you and you might have multiple ways. So some of the ways that you can connect is via meditation. And certainly that's one way. Um, and if you do have any noise in the background, if you'd be so kind as to um, mute yourself, that would be that would be super because I can't tell who's who's what. Um, in fact, let me just do mute all just for a minute and I'll walk you through these ways real quickly and then we will unmute again. Give me one sec here. All right, there we go. All right, so some of the ways to connect with your guides are via meditation. And it just, if you don't already have a meditation practice, don't let that sound formal and like a big thing and too hard to do. I cannot tell you how much I objected to the idea of learning to meditate <laughs> and learned. It's just as simple as just 
relaxing, taking some breaths, getting into our own energy, getting grounded, and then just having that conversation. A great time to connect with your guides and to meditate is when you first wake up in the morning. So if you have the opportunity to just lie in bed for an extra five minutes after you wake up and just kind of gently wake up when you're half awake, half asleep, that is the perfect um, time and, and just uh, uh, place to be in to be able to do that. Same thing as you're falling asleep at night. If it takes you a couple minutes to fall asleep at night, that's a great time to be connecting and talking with your guide. Uh, some people do so beautifully by going on a walk, uh, just, just being in nature and just clearing your mind a little bit. It's just all meditation is, is just kind of uh, just getting that mind chatter because we can have busy brains and some people have more hectic head um, than, than others and just, you know, busy, busy left brain. So we just like need some ways to just get that to quiet down, to be able to hear our own intuition, our own higher self and soul and our guides. But there's definitely ways to do it. Other people do it by just taking a bath, just relaxing, not thinking about anything or just taking a shower being around water is a great way for the guides to be able to connect with us. So the divine can absolutely connect well then. So maybe you're taking a walk by the water, or again, maybe, you know, you're in, in the, the bathtub or the shower. Um, you also can connect if you're doing just like quiet, uh, routine housework or yard work, you know, something repetitive that doesn't really um, take a lot of thought, like you know, you're just washing the dishes or doing a little raking or a little gardening. That's another uh, great time to uh, talk with your guides. And people who have busy brains, having our hands be busy, that's a great way to just uh, just kind of relax. And then we can um, communicate with our guides. So those are some of the ways via your dreams is a powerful way. Um, and many people get wonderful information there. If you're not remembering many of your dreams, um, that's a different conversation and I can help you with that to be able to recall more of them. For those of you who are remembering your dreams, pay particular attention to anyone in your dream with a title, an occupational title of any sort, Uber driver, hotel clerk, any sort of title, because that's a guide because you won't um, always see the guide that you just met. Your guide can come in in different ways or there can be other guides assisting you in your dreams. So pay particular attention to what anyone with a title, occupational title in your dreams is trying to show you, encourage you to do, encourage you to let go of, to not do, because uh, there's some just really wonderful information there. Another way we can connect with the guides is via oracle cards. Um, oracle cards, if you're not um, familiar with them, um, there's many different types. I just grabbed a set at random here off my shelf. This is actually a big deck. A lot of the decks are smaller than this. But the reason I'm recommending um, oracle cards is you don't have to uh, put the, the time and effort into that's involved with learning how to read the tarot. Anyone can work with oracle cards, and it's a great way uh, to communicate with your guides. You can ask them a specific question and then just draw a single card and see what comes through and just tune into how does that feel? Does that land with me? You know, how do I feel about that? What do I now know? What did I just learn? Um, and there's also recommendations in the Oracle card um, um, instruction booklets. And um, if you haven't used them before, it'll just walk you through how to use them. There'll be a little book that'll have more information about each of the cards also. And same thing with your dreams. If you want to ask a specific question of your guides before you fall asleep at night, you can just write it down on a little notebook and just have it there. And then your guides will know, oh gosh, you know, they're really working to try and connect through through the dream time. So let's just let's just meet there. And um, that's a wonderful, wonderful way to get that, get that information. Um, so let's see what else, any spiritual practice that you might have and have a nice broad definition of what those are. A lot of people think, oh goodness, spiritual practice, that means meditation. 
that's the only spiritual practice. There's hundreds of spiritual practices. It might be you doing some breath practice. It might be you uh, doing some journaling, doing some automatic writing. There's yoga, um, running, jogging, whatever is you know your practice where you just are tuning in just letting your energy balance and just being able to uh, relax and just tune into that marvelous uh, wisdom within. Because I really see um, our guides as an aspect of us, just like our higher self is. We really are um, all, all one and all, all connected. So um, that's some of the, the ways to um, connect with, with the guides. Oh, muscle testing is another uh, big one. So you can just use that innate wisdom of your body to muscle test and ask your guide a question and get a clear yes or no answer because our bodies are brilliant and we just instinctively know so much, but we can be just so busy or just so bred out of it that we're not paying enough attention. So there's multiple ways to muscle test. A really easy way is to just put um, your um, left thumb and, and forefinger together in a little circle, and then just loop your right fingers through them together the same way. And now when you ask a question, and if the answer is yes, it's going to be really hard to pull them apart because that's the truth. So if I ask, is my name Wendy? Yes, it really is. It's not short for Gwendolyn. It's not a nickname. I can't pull these apart for anything. I'm actually getting a workout in my upper arms, which I probably need. So that's, that's the truth. That's a yes answer from your guides. If I ask, is my name Henley? No, that's my dog's name. That that's not my name. It just it doesn't hold. There's no there's no truth to it. So that was a no. So that's one of uh, multiple ways you can muscle test. You can also muscle test by standing and have your body be a pendulum and you can learn how to just you'll involuntarily sway forward for yes and you go backwards for no, or you can use a physical pendulum and learn how to uh, use that. And that's a great way um, to, to talk, with your, talk with your guides. So let me unmute everybody again here. And we've got a couple minutes left um, and just ask, uh, do you have questions? Do you, uh, anything else I can help you with, with uh, connecting with your guides? Oh, I didn't do that, right? Let me do that again. Ask all to unmute. There we go. <laughs> so any other questions, any comments, anything else you, uh, yes, Stacy. So my problem, <clears throat> and it's probably pretty common for other people too. It's so subtle for me. So how do you get rid of that? It's too subtle feeling. Yes. Practice. You just keep doing it. You just keep trying different things. And you're so right because the energies are subtle and it can take time to perceive them and to trust them. So to then, you know, start uh, like following, following the breadcrumbs of yes, oh my goodness, this is helpful. So maybe the Oracle cards are a good way you know, for you to do it versus just trying to meditate and trying to hear or talk with your guide, um, you know, where you can physically um, be be doing something. Would, does that feel appealing at all? Would that make sense? Have you tried Oracle cards, Stacey? Yeah, I just don't, I don't have any. Okay. So. I understand. I understand. So, yep. So, um, yeah, that's, they're, they're an easy thing to get. Um, I don't even recommend looking on Amazon because it's overwhelming. I like Hay House for Oracle cards because they're all wonderful in my experience. And it's like a select number. There's maybe 50 decks. <laughs> so you can just, you know, look for, hey, what's on sale? What's just calling my name? Um, I had a magical experience with my first set of Oracle cards and I knew I wanted to get some. I had them sitting literally in my cart to purchase them from somewhere. And I just was, I don't know, busy, stubborn. I don't know, overwhelmed, whatever was going on. I just hadn't pushed the buy now, buy now button. And this was magical. My One of my best friends showed up at my house. 
I was not home and she left a set of Oracle cards. She left a deck of Oracle cards for me. It was one of the healing with the angels Oracle cards. She picked out the same exact set I had in my cart and there are thousands of decks. She and I had never talked about Oracle cards. How did she know that I needed those Oracle cards? And that was the way I was going to start talking with my guides. And so when I called her to thank her for them, I said, how did you know? She said, I don't know. I just was hearing Wendy and these Oracle cards. She says, I've never done this before. I've never known to like go to someone's house and like, you really need these. You need to trust your intuition. So it was a great way for both of us to start trusting our intuition more. I should have just pushed by. <laughs> and it was great confirmation for her that she really was, you know, tuned into helping a friend. It was amazing. So anybody else? Other other questions? Claudia? Um, yes. Yes, my quick question is now that we connected with our guide and somehow we gave them a name, um, you said also that we can have a conversation with him or her, but you also mentioned something that we need to ask because we're in a, in a world of free will. So how, how do simply, I- Just simply ask, just, just talk to them, just talk to them. What I was trying to communicate was we need to make make the effort and and ask to connect with our guide and talk with our guide and then they'll absolutely be there for us my point was we can't just go oh wow cool i'm connected with my guide now now they're going to come in with the fairy wand and every day and every way they're going to be helping my life and fixing my life and upgrading my life they cannot do that because that would be actually violating our free will. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we just need to, we just need to ask. So you just, you just call on them by name and just, just talk with them. It might feel awkward in the beginning. It might feel weird. It might feel, um, you know, just, just like, am I doing it right? Do not let your left brain take over you probably did not ride a bicycle perfectly the first time as a child or whenever you learned to ride a bicycle it took a little bit of practice took a little bit of help a little bit of sense of humor might have been a little bump or bruise you won't have that with your guides <laughs> but you know learning to ride that bicycle you might have fallen a couple times um so, you know, it's just, there's just a learning curve to it. So just be kind to yourself and just trust that it's working and just, just keep doing it and it'll get, it'll get easier. When you do start connecting and wondering, oh gosh, did I just hear this from my guy? Did I just, you know, get this um, information? Just, you can repeat out loud to them. Oh my goodness. I feel like I feel like this is true. I feel like you're telling me this. Is that right? And then communicate more or ask them for more information or ask them for a sign. Um, and then just, just pay attention because uh, whomever said the energies are really subtle, that's so, that's so true. And those of us who are particularly left-brained or who might have been trained in science and technology and very left-brained um, fields, <laughs> had my MBA degree since I was 22. So my guides um, <laughs> lovingly, laughingly say, I was a really tough nut to crack. I just struggled um, with, with opening uh, energetically and spiritually, and it took a lot of pretty big experiences for that to happen. I never would have anticipated this as such a joyful way of being and that I have the privilege of communicating with guides all day long and helping others uh, be able to do that too. I never would have expected. I couldn't have told you 15 years ago what subtle energies were. I would have looked at you like, what? <laughs> Does not compute. So, you know, we're all on our own journey. We all, um, 
wake up, if that's the right term, become more aware of maybe is a better term to, to the subtle energies and what's going on around us. So it's a free will choice. You know, if we want to connect with our guides, um, we're, we're able to do so. Um, and at this point, I just, I just feel like they're some of my best friends. I feel blessed by them, uplifted by them, and absolutely uh, appreciate the information that comes through, even though sometimes it's it's um, hard to hear. Uh, I don't mean that it's hard for me to hear it, like perceive it. I mean, sometimes they're sharing things that might be um, a little bit difficult or I might not be ready for, but it's still, it doesn't mean it's not correct. I was not gracious about hearing that I was meant to move and I was meant to relocate and to sell my home and move to another part of the country. Uh, some just kicking and screaming was involved with all that. <laughs> I'm really glad I did it. It changed my life in such positive ways, but you know, just sometimes what we hear, just because you hear something from your guide, you weren't expecting or you don't love initially doesn't mean it's wrong just keep asking questions about it and just just try and keep an open mind and uh try and see if it might make sense so might might, might be over time as i said so well thank you everybody for uh, being here today i did include um, the links if you would like to uh, sign up for anything from my website for other uh, workshops if you'd like to work with me one-on-one -on -one, uh, those links are on my on my website at wendyrosewilliams.com um, and thank you so much um, for the saying I highly recommend a session with Wendy that was helpful thank you so much I appreciate that and um, and Mary yes I will uh, look forward to uh, speaking with you tomorrow. So thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful evening. And again, the recording from today will be on YouTube under Wendy Rose Williams. So if you want to go back to um, this, you'll be able to find the broadcast there. So thank you. It was a pleasure to be here and have fun with your guides. I look forward to uh, what you learn. You're welcome to uh, post in there if you want to on the, on the YouTube uh, when, this, when this gets posted and just, uh, you know, put in some of the comments of what you learn and how that goes for you, because we all learn together. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye now. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.